金色ラブリッチェ The end of term ceremony おオーロ君どうされました目にハイライトがないぞレイプ目ですね俗に言う What? Oh yeah, so this is how people feel when their eyes look dead, huh? I've played a few visual novels that have that trope, but I never knew what it was called. Haha. <laughs> Despair awaited me. The man made me his bitch. Noble Academy and society as a whole. If you want to put a positive spin on it, I avoided failing, supplementary lessons, and having to repeat the year by a paper thin margin. Our homeroom teacher seriously went on a nasty rant about that paper thin difference in their comment field. Damn it, that tyrant of a teacher is looking down on me just because I'm a commoner. Anyway, it's winter break. The second term was over and our long vacation had begun. That fact alone was enough for me to forget about getting my ass handed to me on my report card. There was one person who was upset by school letting out for a winter vacation, though. What's up, Sylvie? This would be a great time to get crazy excited and start going, woohoo! Ah. Compared to a commoner like me, I'd imagine Princess Sylvie had a lot to do on her days off. By the way, what are you doing over winter break? クリスマスだからオーシュの有名なカトリックの教会でご挨拶と写真撮影。そのまま日本へトンボ帰りして年末の芋回りね。合間には That sounds rough. Royalty was outstanding. でも日本で年末年始したこと？年末年始を何か特別に催すという感覚はソルティリエジュにはありませんからね。The-they are there, it'll be okay. Between her insanely busy work schedule, which was going to put her in an early grave if she wasn't careful, and her lack of free time, she looked distraught. I gave her a gentle pat on the back in an effort to cheer her up. I've got an idea. Let's text each other on New Year's Eve. Compared to Japan, Saudi Leisure was across the international date line and we would be ringing in the new year at vastly different times. We'll text each other in our own respective countries the second it hits midnight. Sounds fun, right? It'll make it easy to see the difference from Japan. For as lackluster an event as it was, it had to be better than nothing. Sylvie smiled for me. And then. Yeah? A party? I have nothing to wear though. Safe 
What should I do? I'd feel pretty out of place at a consulate party. For real? The part I was most curious about actually did come with good news. あの、You're going to continue? It was just like Sylvie to anticipate every loose end. If I really thought this through, we had talked about having Elle decide whether or not to call it quits after yesterday's competition, but she'd be getting her priorities backwards if she couldn't continue due to her job. It was a teensy bit frustrating that she was staying behind due to her club commitments rather than to be with me. But I was happy so long as I could be with Elle. Alright! <laughs> Between that and the excitement of our winter break, I pulled her into a tight embrace. Elle looked delighted too. It's rare for you to take a proper vacation, isn't it, Elle? <laughs> Sylvie did that. Sylvie, you really were the perfect winger woman. You were just so lovable just now. Ha, ha, L, L. I've just been feeling pent up since we didn't get a chance to do it yesterday. Ha, ha. It'll be fine. Come on, let's go down to Pound Town. Chaser! Watch it. Someone came up to stab me from behind. Ah, ah, this is a pretty legit beating. After I got pounded on a pretty reasonable amount. Ah, I still had this pain in the neck to deal with. I'd managed to humor them in some capacity while we were pretend lovers, but I guess it was time to buddy up to the obstacles around L now that we were officially dating. You are way off. Following that, Elle got taken away by her friends from club. The fencing club wouldn't be practicing for a while now that the competition was over, but I guess they were going to discuss future club-related plans. It would have made things awkward if I stuck around, so I left. You didn't even show up to the end of term ceremony. You are not suspended anymore, right? Ria was the same as she always was, even with winter break on the horizon. 
Senpai, Tomo des. Hey there, you kicked the liveliness up another notch today, I see. You're so high spirited. Well, I mean, let's get hyped up. Yay! Yay! And to those who were in the highest of spirits. Sorry. Minachan is naturally. That's a princess for you. How about you? That's certainly a modern approach. Minachan would be heading out soon. Beyond that, most of the rich girls in the dorm, starting with Akane-chan, would apparently be heading back home. I guess that means the dorm's gonna be pretty empty for a while, huh? Hehehe. <laughs> Don't call me creepy. It just gave me a teensy little erotic mental image, you know? What are you talking about? Then just say that without using that weird teen speak nonsense. Her slang usage came so naturally to her that I had trouble understanding her from time to time. Hmm, <laughs> ask all you want, but it's only the third day. Although our first day as a couple was nothing but full-on sexy time, our second day was primarily focused on the fencing competition, and today we'd shared a brief conversation at school. There's nothing interesting enough to tell. Haha, <laughs> obnoxious. You shouldn't ask stuff like that. Hmm. It didn't feel right for me to share that information, especially since L was involved and it would be awful if word got out. However, I couldn't deny that I really wanted to brag about it to someone. I guess? I guess? I guess? Why? She flip-flopped out of nowhere. Like I care about your sensibilities, if there are fine boobs in front of them, any man would rub them, suck them and put them in their mouth. Ahem, <clears throat> don't make me say it. The conversation veered a little too far in a pervy direction. She hit me where it hurts. That was for sure. Sex on our first day was the most we'd associated together. We'd largely spent our pretend period up until that point on calm events like dates or eating meals together, so there was nothing more to be done. A very red-faced Minachan returned and was trying to act like she didn't hear our lewd conversation. Okay. I wasn't exactly great at this stuff either, you know. Then again, this was probably a case for some male dependability. 
エルチン自由時間があると言っても帰るまでは1週間とちょっとだよ頑張り Sounds awfully short when you put it that way. I had to think this through and take action. This was where my fun times with L would begin. Ah, good question. I'll have to turn up for a bit on New Year's. Yeah, they're extremely ordinary parents, and our household is peaceful enough that I've never even considered whether we're close or not. It's just, my parents are extremely ordinary. What could I do? That night. I decided to organize a fencing competition. そうですね。私自身も<笑>やめようとしていた時は漠然としていましたがいざ続けると思えば次の試合が楽しみでなりません L had a strained smile Given L's personality she probably found her current position touchy Cutting her guard duties short and dedicating more of her time to fencing an activity she greatly enjoyed had to be unthinkable for her To do something she enjoyed, that had to be a questionable scenario for such a diligent knight like L. But from a commoner's perspective, that line of thinking was entirely normal. L should learn to enjoy life a little more. I'll have to teach you how to have fun, just like we did in bed. Whoops! Did I say that out loud? Come on, you know, we didn't get to do it yesterday after all. I scooted closer toward her. Mm-hmm. All night long at that. え、何でもない。何も思い出していません。あれはあくまで特別な例だったと思ってください。場の空気に流されたというか、そのあの一晩だけのことというか。Huh? You mean we are not going to have sex again? えっと、ありてに言えば。What? そこまでがっかりしなくても。But Well, no, it's not like that's what I was angling for, but we've done it once already. Actually, can you hold out? I was exhausted by the fourth round, but you kept on saying, more, more. Ah, true. This was my impression now that we had done it. I loved it, Elle loved it, and once we got started we went at it like rabbits until we were exhausted. We were in the highest of spirits during... But when I considered how rough it was afterward, maybe we should show some level of restraint. Oh, that reminds me, were you okay at the competition yesterday? We did it so much, I was worried you were still weak in the knees. Were you alright, stamina-wise? <laughs> むしろ気力が充実して負ける気がしないくらいでしたが。Should've expected as much. If it doesn't wear you out, then shouldn't it be fine? オーロが困るでしょ。昨日はずっと眠そうでした。If I run myself ragged doing it with you, that's a life I can be satisfied with. 
そういう問題ではありません。It was stubborn. When you took the risk of pregnancy and what not into consideration, then yeah, what you were saying was correct. She was correct, but something felt off when she rejected it this distinctly. I was confident that we had spent a great night together the other day. Did something happen? <laughs> when I asked, she was hesitant to answer. Sounded like something had come up. Why is it off limits all of a sudden? Is something bothering you? <laughs> ah, her face screamed that she didn't want to be asked. If that were the case, then I needed to pry it out of her. If I backed off now, then sex would seriously be taken off the table indefinitely. If something worries you, tell me. We shouldn't keep secrets. L. I looked straight into her eyes. We are lovers, aren't we? Are you keeping a secret from me? It was a bit sneaky of me, but I took her head on. Secrets weren't too big of a deal, even if we were lovers, but Elle was such an honest person that if I put it this way. She spoke. It makes me happy too. いい形でいられる今のうちにですね。はフェディッシュ。オール。Yes。養殖はよくありません。Uh, right。I knew this was a pure love game。だから、その、養殖が好きなオールの性癖を否定するつもりはありませんが、ここは歯止めをかける意味でですね。一度落ち着いて。は私はあなたを受け止める覚悟があります。そのために両熟についてもいろいろと勉強しました。ああいうゲームの内容は頭に入っています。しかししかし、嫌がる相手にしたいという性癖はですね、とどめておくべきだとですね。ああ。I think I got it now. L。何でしょう She was under a massive misconception about my fetish, and I needed to take this opportunity to clear it up. It was a pretty rude misunderstanding to have of me, so. Maybe, be, maybe it would actually be better to put it to use for now? Hehehe, <laughs> if you figured me out, that's a tough break. That I just love it so much. <laughs> take this! I'm gonna assault you! I made a move on her. <laughs> I pushed her back onto the bed. This quote unquote sexual assault business aside, I could tell she was a little turned on after I pushed her down. <laughs> Isn't doing it when you shouldn't what makes it rape? Come on, come on, come on! Time for some assault! I reached for her boob. <laughs> Huh? L disappeared from beneath me. In the same instant, I was pinned down against the futon. Yowch! Ow, 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 ow! Uncle, uncle, uncle! She twisted my arm with all of her strength. That was right. L was considerably strong when it came to fencing, too, but she was a master when it came to martial arts and apprehension techniques. Whether I did it or not was never a factor. She wasn't someone I was strong enough to violate against her will either way. I get it, I get it, so stop, stop! She let me go. Ah, it's been a while since I thought my arm was going to get ripped off. Uh, listen. I got the general idea of her misunderstanding and I immediately cut to the chase. Yes, I do love those sorts of games, but that doesn't mean it's my fetish. Look over here, I've got plenty of pure love games here too. 
If I were to make it easier to understand. I love you, El, but I love Sylvie and Rena too. Also Ria, and I guess Jogasaki if we were talking looks wise. However, you're the only partner I want to have sex with. It's like that. I like the fictional idea of it, but that doesn't mean it's something I want to do in real life. My explanation was a little overbearing, but she appeared to understand. By the way, given how this conversation went, the fact you have doubts that I might assault someone must mean you suspect I might have sex with someone other than you, even though you are my top choice. Elle, do you think I might cheat on you? Then trust me, I won't have sex in any way that makes you sad, Elle. Nope. Nope. Her knowledge was beyond skewed. Sounded like she believed me. I was glad. Elle was so straightforward that as long as we had a logical conversation, even if she had doubts, we could avoid pointlessly dragging things out. By the way, I steered the conversation in the direction I had wanted to go. You mentioned doing research on the subject earlier. How did you study it exactly? <laughs> ah, her face turned bright red. Bingo! Time to score some sweet, sweet info. Hey, hey, how did you study it? What did you study from? And in what form did you study it? I've actually had my suspicions for a while now. You can be uptight, but you know sexual terms like French kissing and whatnot. You wouldn't use words like French kissing except in sexually related instances, you know? Just plain kissing would suffice in ordinary conversations. It only came up in works separated into the erotic category. Which meant? What kind of studying did you do, El San? El Chan. <laughs> she ran off. El's sudden ban on sex had confused me a little. But it did sound like it would be fine as long as I made sure it wasn't all I focused on. So this wasn't extreme enough to warrant warning me. Elle's body wasn't the only thing I loved about her after all. Although she was ridiculously hot. <laughs>